Hello everyone! PSG is about to raise Mbappe's salary to an unprecedented scale. Messi commented on the game against Real, and Barcelona promised Xavi two more huge transfers in summer. Guys, here we again have a very captivating episode. Give us a like and subscribe to the channel, as we will start right away. Let's get going! Arsenal have stripped Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang of the captain's armband for violating discipline, according to the Gunners press service. Zlatan Ibrahimovic visited the Vatican and met with the Pope. Milan striker gave him his new book, Adrenaline. Tottenham has decided to let Dele Alli go on loan this winter, Sky Sports informs. Antoine Griezmann suffered a muscle injury. He's going to miss Atletico games against Sevilla and Granada. We have the quality to beat Real Madrid in the round of 16, claimed PSG head coach Maurizio Pochettino. I keep in touch with Barcelona. We are in constant contact. I will choose it if the club wants that," Diario Sport quoted Ajax goalkeeper Andre Onana as saying. Lewandowski has repeated Gerrit Müller's record for the biggest number of goals scored in the Bundesliga per calendar year. In 2021, the leader of Bayern Munich scored 42 of them. If you look at how many yellow and red cards Roma get, we'll look like a team of killers," Jose Mourinho noted in an interview with La Gazzetta dello Sport. Manchester City midfielder Jack Grealish has scored his first Premier League header. A very interesting draw. PSG are a difficult opponent for us in the next round, but we are confident to move into the quarterfinals," said Real Madrid midfielder Toni Kroos. Bayern Munich became the winter champion of the Bundesliga for the 24th time. At this juncture, the Munich players have already taken 21 titles. Manchester City passed the 500-goal mark in the Premier League under the leadership of Pep Guardiola. It took 207 matches for the head coach of the citizens to make that happen. Betis updated the contract of midfielder Sergio Canales, the club's official website informs. Real Madrid will try to convince Liverpool sporting director Michael Edwards to take up a similar post in Madrid, the independent says. Andriy Shevchenko got his first victory as the head coach of Genoa. The Griffin beat Salernitana in the Italian Cup. Arsenal are not in talks with Fiorentina striker Dusan Vlahovic, despite rumors. However, the Gunners still want to sign a new centre forward in summer, Fabrizio Romano writes. We know that PSG is a great team, but we will go to win the first leg and the second leg. We want the Champions League, RMC Sport quotes Karim Benzema. Borussia Mönchengladbach is open for the sale of midfielder Danny Zakaria in January. Due to the fact that the player's contract with the club expires in the summer, he can be released for as little as 7 million euros. For the first time in the coaching career of Marcelo Bielsa, his team conceded 7 goals in a single match. Juventus indicated its interest in the AZ and the Netherlands national team defender Owen Windel. The source is Sport Media Set. Saint-Étienne has confirmed the appointment of a new head coach. It was Pascal Dupras, who worked in Toulouse and Caen earlier on. The contract is valid until the end of the season. Alexander Lacazette and Kieran Tierney are the main contenders for captaincy of Arsenal. Talksport notes, Juan Laporte has promised Xavi that Barcelona will sign two players for the winter transfer window. The first target is Manchester City's Ferran Torres, while the second purchase must involve a new centre forward. Since his debut for Manchester City in September 2015, Kevin De Bruyne has scored 20 goals from outside the penalty area in the Premier League, more than any other player for the same time. Juventus may be bolstered by Manchester United winger Anthony Martial in January, La Repubblica reported. Manchester United have joined the battle for Chelsea defender Antonio Rudiger, Sky Sports reports. The agent of Salzburg striker Karim Ademi has confirmed his client rejected Real, Barcelona and Inter offers to move to the Bundesliga. Valencia announced that two coaches at the club have contracted the coronavirus disease. However, the tests of the players turned out to be negative and the team continues training sessions, according to a statement from the press service of the Pets. Milan is trying to renew contracts with Teo Hernandez and Rafael Liao. The new agreements with the players could lead the club to losses of 100 million euros over the next five years, though the Rossinero leadership is willing to take such a step. PSG are not thinking about big transfers in January. The Parisians will rather focus on sales and payroll cuts, RMC Sports states. The first games of the new match week took place yesterday in the Premier League and Bundesliga. The latest results are right in front of you. 
And let's move on to the main news of the release. Let's start with a brief rewind of yesterday's fixtures. Steven Girard had his fourth victory at the helm of Aston Villa. The Lions defeated Norwich in an away game with 0-2. Besides, Manchester City managed to show Leeds a rated R movie. The citizens slotted seven goals with no response from the Peacocks. Kevin De Bruyne scored a brace and Phil Foden, Riyad Mahrez, Jack Grealish, John Stones and Nathan Ake supported his idea by adding one goal each. Meanwhile in the Bundesliga, Bayern battered Stuttgart no 5. Two accurate shots from Robert Lewandowski plus hat-trick and two assists from Serge Gnabry were the perfect recipe to make the result clear. We are also to highlight the Diego Maradona Cup game between Barcelona and Boca Juniors. 1-1 in regular time, and Xavi's team lost 4-2 in the penalty shootout later on. No comment here. We continue to bring your reactions to the draw for the Champions League round of 16. According to the newspaper Marca, the PSG leadership is dissatisfied with the result of the draw. Initially, Manchester United were supposed to face the Parisians, but at the take two, Mauricio Pochettino's team got paired with Real Madrid. PSG decided to remain silent in public so as not to spoil relations with UEFA. But in general, the Red and Blues are unhappy to battle Carlo Ancelotti's lets. The source writes, Officially, Barcelona striker Sergio Aguero retired because of heart problems. The club organized a special press conference for the Argentinian, at which he, in tears, announced his decision to end the career. I decided to leave the world of football. It's the most difficult decision in my life. It's the health issue. The doctors told me that the best for me is to stop. So this is the best decision for me. A very sad ending for Kun. Nevertheless, we say thank you to him for a wonderful career and wish him good luck in the future. The pressure on Kylian Mbappe continues. RMC Sport found out that PSG offered the striker a new contract with the highest salary in the team. To date, the highest-paid footballer at the Persian club is Lionel Messi, who receives around 55 million euros a year before taxes. Mbappe's salary may get even higher. But Kylian is not yet ready to give a positive answer. Money is not a priority for him, as he still plans to move to Real Madrid. By the way, Madrid will not rush with signing Mbappe. Diario Oz claims that the Royal Club refused to conclude a preliminary contract with the player, although it has the right to do so already in January. According to the publisher, Real has postponed the signing of the agreement until March 2022, after learning about the game versus PSG in the Champions League playoffs. Los Blancos management fears to find themselves in a scenario where Mbappe agrees to a contract with them before the February match, and then comes under harsh criticism from PSG fans during the game even though Kylian will be performing against Madrid. Florentino Paris wants the future rookie to approach the fight in the right condition and continue to professionally defend the interests of the Parisians until the very end. Absolutely not profitable, but a very commendable gesture by Real. Now this is actual fair play. New details popped up from the recent meeting between Barcelona president Joan Laporta and agent Minoriola. The materials of the Catalan newspaper Sport indicate that the Blaugranas discussed not only the potential transfer of Erling Haaland, but also Paul Pogba and even their former pupil Xavi Simmons. Pogba's contract with Manchester United is about to expire in the summer of 2022, and the same goes for Simmons and PSG. Both of them can move to Barca for free, and that can be the most profitable scenario for the club against the background of many financial struggles. Xavi, in turn, has already agreed with Laporta's plans. The Barcelona coach is hoping for Pogba's help next season and doesn't mind boosting the squad with Xavi Simmons. At the same time, the comeback of the once main talent of La Masia is not yet that important for the coaching staff. As for short-term objectives, the Blaugranas are waiting for January to poach Manchester City striker Ferran Torres and Manchester United forward Edinson Cavani. Little by little, a decent lineup builds up at Barcelona for next year's campaign. Lionel Messi's interview is always a whole event. Yesterday, the Argentines spoke to the French press and had a say on the clash between PSG and Real Madrid in the Champions League round of 16. Matches versus Real Madrid? The objective of PSG is the Champions League. It's the objective of all. It's a special competition for all the great teams. My move from Barcelona was a very big change because we have been living in the same place for a long time. It was not easy, but we are very well in a spectacular city and in one of the best teams in the world. We are very happy. Messi assured. Friends, have a look at new videos from our other projects. Check them out for yourself. It was...
Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.